Hi, and welcome to another edition of Onside SA, the soccer show that tells you what's going on weekly. We will be talking to our international pundit in London, Stevie B. Budge has done his homework, and uh, let's first start with our last one standing. Budge, 287 left from 445. Yeah. Bit well, of a the drop. Popular teams won, but yes. uh, they won a two smacks, obviously. Chelsea but, uh, late. Chelsea oh, scored late. For a half time, it could have been carnage. Yes. None of the decent teams were winning. They were all drawing, and uh, Burnley were beating Brighton. So, uh, That's just right. as well. Yeah. So, okay, so turn. But the, the Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United, Wolves, Southampton boys and girls. And girls. All went yeah. through Villa, Brighton, West Ham, Everton, Newcastle, and the mighty Man City. Man dropped. City. Okay, now. There's 24 ladies remaining. That's that's very good, but there's 10% roughly still of the ladies. Well, there were 24, 32 started, Paul, so eight went out, but 24. That's very good. That's very good. The ladies are holding their own. They're not as stupid as we think. <laughs> I'll take that back, girls. <laughs> take that back, I'll yeah. take that back. Uh, well done. The girls have always competed well, and there's 24 of them. And now I've got my international pundits and mugs that are always in the show. I can't believe, firstly, Derek Ramsey's still in. Two for two, Derek. To uh, Mike Abu, the Egyptian crossdresser. Yeah, he's hanging in, yeah. Hanging in. Has he used Liverpool yet? He no doubt. Have. Yeah, no doubt. Stevie B, he's Unbelievable. Still in. Unbelievable. I think it's the furthest he's gone. Is Colour still in? No, he went out. He doesn't go. He, what does he pick the worst team on purpose, Colour? Well, he was on Aston Villa. He picks a lemon and the fruit every time. And uh, Aubrey, Robbie Martin. Robbie in. Martin. Uh, Robbie, no, so no, these no, guys, Martin. these guys going through good now. There are a whole group of entrants, but you haven't used the two major sides, yeah. Man City and Liverpool. And uh, I'm just going to uh, glance through them. So these are the guys who've, got, who've timed it. Luckily, they didn't time it last week. <laughs> but Paul DeCarmo, Sean Phillips. Is it Mark Weinstein? Mark Weinstein, yeah. Larry's boy. Larry's son, yeah. yeah. Alan Costa, Dick Goss, Mark Anderson, Alistair Cohen. Yeah. Ellie, the, the commentator. Well, uh, well, well done to him. Well yeah. done to him. Alan Duplessis, one of the dupes in. Craig Massey, he's always there. Yeah. Chris Wheeler, Robbie Burns breaks. Yeah. Dean Grover. Yeah, Dean Gro Grover, yeah. Okay. Dean Groves, uh, yeah. Denver for Mark. Yeah, that's part of the, the Faree camp on the, in the, in the Mediterranean, oh, right. yeah. Dave Anderson. Yeah. And Mark, a previous Mark. winner, George Salenta. So you've got two previous winners that uh, haven't used the big two. And the guys who got pick of the weeks. Three selections on Wolves. Yes. Georgia Georgia Harita, Harita yeah. Joburg girl. Well done. Andrew from Boston. Yeah. Andre von Bussen, yeah. Richard Michael without a surname. Yes. Fantastic. And Southampton, Lionel Isaacs. Yeah. Lionel, that's two for two. He's pilled a couple of outsiders. You, you've had a look. I think it's tough this week, Budge. You do? Yeah. Okay. Well, what stands out for you just over the top of your head? Well, I think Man United stand out. Got to beat Watford at home. Yeah, yeah, you probably And I think right. there'll be the other popular choice, I think, will be Southampton to beat Norwich. And Leeds. Those are the big three And Leeds to beat Spurs. Spurs yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Right, let's get Stevie B on the line because we've got to discuss a few games, Champions League results and what yeah. have you. Steve, you're about? I'm here. Good morning. Beadle morning, is Steve. about. Morning, Steve. How are things? Yeah, good, thanks. And still I've squeaked into round three. So, round three, uh, Steve. Yeah. You're going for a record. Time. And Steve, it's, it'd, be remiss of me, it'd be remiss of me not to talk about your beloved Fulham winning the game. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, the score looked close, but, but it wasn't close. Um, we probably did enough to have won by several more than one for their goalkeeper. But at this point, now, you know, with the goals we've scored and the goal difference, it doesn't match if we win 5 0 or 6 0. 1 0 is good enough yeah. um, to, to get the. 2-1 last night to get the three points. We're now nine clear of Bournemouth, although they've got games in hand. Ten clear of um, QPR with a game in hand. So, you know, we're in a decent position. Yeah, yeah uh, it looks... Uh, looks home like Jerome, Steve. You're just going to get over the right. last hurdle at Cheltenham. Yeah. And you're home <laughs> Jerome, as Bud says. But uh, before we do Champions League, Bud, can we just talk about Spurs for a moment? Yeah. Steve might not have watched it. I obviously watch every moment of Spurs. I've worked something out. And Steve, every time we play a side that comes at us, yeah. Man City, Liverpool, maybe a couple of Arsenal games, we roll them. Catch them on the break. We catch them every time on the break. Every time a team closes on yeah. us, yeah. we 
yippied. Yeah. Paul, you know, I watched the game last night. The conditions yeah. were atrocious. And Spurs had that 20-minute spell. They should have scored. Should have hit the cross. And then uh, yeah. a decent cross in. I think it was Ramuza, the mirror, caught dreaming. And that team, yeah. that's a man's that, team, Paul. But I watched that again, that goal. I know it's a lot I think it held up in the, the wind. It held it. Yeah. Keeper had to come. Yeah, he should Keeper, have. he scored inside the small box. When yeah. you go look at it again, yeah. just come. He, he doesn't catch anymore. Yeah. He's 37. You know, statues are braver. Yeah. He should have come and put a fist on it. We'd have had no problems. Yeah. They had a chance to make a tunnel, a clear-cut yeah, chance. Scored, Again, yeah. same coming down the left there. Yeah. So I believe, I have, haven't seen it, it was a very explosive interview with Con yeah. Conti. Steve, Orton. what did you think of that? Yeah, I mean, I listened to it on the radio when I was coming back. And uh, a lot, very emotional, you know, whether... <laughs> You know, but, but at the time, and the pundit, the pundits were commentating on it, and people phoning in, and and everyone seemed to think it sounded like he was saying, "I'm going." But uh, I think, I, I suspect, in the cold light of day, it was just that he was very frustrated by. It. You know, he hasn't found himself in this position normally. He's normally at clubs that are going for the title, or or at least cementing a Champions League place. Yeah. You know, four defeats in five. I think he's sort of fe feeling that. Uh, that this isn't what he signed up for. Now, maybe it's a bit naive of him because they were never going to change the, the squad wholesale in January. That was never going to happen. So, you know, he, maybe he didn't realise the squad that he's got or is working with were going to, let's say, in his own mind, let him down as much. So um, I think there'll be some hard talking. I, I'd be very surprised if he walked out. Um, you know. Steve, it's, it's, it's a poison chalice. We've had some great managers. No one can do a thing there. We're, we've got to... Uh, Lewis and Enoch, and they've got to go. Because every time he's asking for money, he has to buy guys who are on the bench for Juventus and things like that. We need, we need to change something. I don't know what it is, because I think I'm going to end up in Stellarwood Cemetery <laughs> without having won a trophy. This team, it's a poison chalice. They're jinxed. They cannot do a thing right. Would Davies play for Fulham? Steve? Sorry? Would, would uh, Davies play for Fulham? No. No, no. no I, mean, we, we, I, mean, I mean, Ryan Sessignon, obviously, you've got, was, uh, was our player at... Uh, you can have you him, know, He seems to like. Yeah. <laughs> but he seems to like him. Look, I, you, know, who, you know, there's no question. At this moment in time, four defeats in five, they've fallen away from that you know, potential fourth place. They're not out of it, but I think it will... You know, the way things are going, it'll be difficult for them. The crazy thing is, of those five games, the one they won was an outstanding performance at City. Yeah. Um, but as you say, Burnley, terrible. I've watched the highlights, the shocking conditions. Burnley have found, uh, have got a little bit of newfound confidence, and you know they are a hard team to beat when they're like that. They don't concede many goals. They've conceded two in the last six. Yeah. So it, it's scoring has been their problem. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, but, but I think if, if Tottenham wanted to play a team who are really out of form, uh, and are conceding goals for fun, you know, they've got this opportunity to go to Leeds and, 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 and put some points on the board. Mm. Talking of Leeds, Steve, 6-0 last night could have been double figures. Yeah, uh... I, I heard, I mean, it's, uh, you know, again, um, people phoning in, basically saying, you know, as much as they love Leeds fans, as much as they love him, they think that, you know, if Bielsa carries on like this, they, you know, they could easily find themselves in the bottom three. So... Mm. You know, two, he, two penalties. It's almost like they say he has no plan B. Yeah. What was it? Did you ever get yeah, to I see saw, the penalties? I, I, I saw yeah. the goal. I, yeah, I, look, I saw the goals and, and, I, and highlights that they could have had any number of them, the chances they created. You know, but they still, you know, and they were saying at six 0 down, instead of shutting up shot, they were throwing five or six players forward and leaving themselves open at the back. It's like, it, 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 you know, those aren't the sort of tactics that you can employ against yeah. a team as good as Liverpool. Yeah. So. Um, you know, 19 goals, uh, sorry, 16 goals they've conceded in the last four games. Yeah. You know, it's not good enough. And they are, um, you know, if the teams below them win their games in hand, they will get sucked into that bottom three. Yeah, they're not going down, Steve. Watford? They've got a couple back. Yeah, Watford got destroyed last night 4-1. I thought they they would put up a fight. Yeah, but I think Watford and Norwich will go. Yeah, it's the third. No, to me, it's Watford, Norwich. It's Watford, Norwich and one more. Yeah. Um, Brentford are Brentford are the trick team. Uh, only got one point from the last six. You know, that's Brentford Newcastle is a, is quite a, is, yeah. a, is a huge game because Newcastle win that they're up with Brentford with games in hand three games in hand. So um, you know, Brentford one six Newcastle unbeaten in six. Yeah. So you know it, 
I, I can I can see a couple of the teams at the bottom falling adrift, and then it'll, it will be everyone will be scrambling around to avoid that that third place. Steve, other end of the table, uh, Arsenal Wolves tonight. How do you see it? Yeah, yeah, it'd be a really good game. I mean, you know, with, with the games in hand Arsenal have got, they are, I guess if you looked at them, you'd say they're in pole position for fourth place. But Wolves, five wins in the last six games. Yeah. Um, you know, stuck up sort of quietly. But, but again, you know, their strength is they're not conceding goals. Uh, and then they just, I think this would be a really good game. Yeah, uh, good I think game. it's a different one to call. I think Arsenal, Arsenal, I think, will go for it. You know, whether they can break that ball. I think first goal is crucial. Wolf score that first goal. You know, it'd be hard for Arsenal to get a couple back. But um, if Arsenal score, then I think it'd be, be a really good game. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it should be a crack game. Should another Thursday night, Thursday night game. Yeah, I like Thursday night games. Breaks the yeah. weekend. Steve, championship uh, games midweek. Chelsea comfortable against Lille? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, you know, 2 nil is good enough for them. Um, I'd be very surprised if, if they, uh, you know, let it slip. You know, Lille are not a bad side, but they're not having a good season. You know, after you think 11th in the La Ligue, in, 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 in League One, as, as opposed to winning it last year, uh, having sold one or two players. So I think Chelsea should go through. And again, but, you know, the, I guess the news there is no Lukaku. Yeah, um, and you just you just wonder what you know what's going to happen because whether he's con you know when he when they signed him in those first few games you thought well you know th this guy has come back to Chelsea he's looking you know he's looking like he's a ninety seven million pound player and at the moment uh, uh, he can't can't buy a goal and in fact yeah. uh, as of last week he can't can't buy a touch of the ball so uh, you know two colours obviously uh, you know I thought he might play him but you know he said he wanted to protect him well. It doesn't, doesn't help his confidence if he's sitting on the bench. So we'll see what happens there. Yeah. Steve, uh, Man United, Atletico, you see much of that? Uh, only, only sort of brief he highlights is. and listening to people phoning in. And, well, you know, ultimately, it's all about the result. And, you know, they go back to uh, Old Trafford, uh, knowing that uh, a win will, will put them through. Won't be easy, but um, Atletico uh, not having a great season. They don't travel as well. And I think uh, United should be favourites for that. Yeah, I must say one shot in the first 80 minutes. I said to Paul earlier, watching Man United is like two things. Uh, two oh, things, it's sorry. Spurs? It's Jeez. terrible, terrible. Anyway, yeah. talking of Spurs, Steve, our previews on the weekend, a nice early kickoff. Can Leeds upset Spurs or do you expect Spurs to get back to winning ways? Well, yeah, look, yeah. I mean, you know, if you look at the Leeds performances in recent, re the last few weeks, they've been really shocking. I yeah. mean, uh, you know, they had a little spell against United when they got themselves back to 2-2 two -two and you thought, oh, okay, okay, and then they just left themselves open again. Yeah. And obviously last night, what I heard and seeing the highlights, it could have been any number of goals. So, you know, they, 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 need to, they need to get some points back on the ball, but then Tottenham still, you know, I think that, I think Conte, assuming he's still there and everything's he's settled down, he will want a response from that Tottenham team. Um, I, w I think of the two, for me, Tottenham would be favourites. Yeah, totally Shoot. agree. Now, a big game at the bottom, especially Brentford against Newcastle. How do you see that? Yeah, I fancy, uh, I fancy Newcastle. I mean, they've obviously got a lot of confidence. Um, got a decent uh, draw at West Ham. Unbeaten in six. I think that uh, you know they, they could heap. But again, for me, out of the two, I think... Newcastle more likely to win. I mean, Brentford, you know, really will be sucked into it if they lose at home to, to Newcastle. But um, you know, they're struggling a little bit in front of goal. And I just, you know, I, I think there's to me their squad is not strong enough. And I think they're just being. You know, they had those wins early in the season, which is otherwise they really would be uh, close, probably much closer to the bottom three. But I fancy of the two, Newcastle. Okay, okay. A manager that's under pressure, Steven Gerrard, won one of his last seven. Wow. How do you see them going against Brighton? Tough game. Yeah, tough game. I mean, Brighton obviously had a very disappointing uh, result um, against Burnley. You know, but they but they're stronger away from home at times. You know, I, I think I think Steve Gerrard's going to expect a response out of them. You know, they, they've had some poor performances and obviously losing to Watford was a very poor result for them. Yeah. I think they might bounce back. I just think that he will be reading the right act to them and uh, I think I, I think at the two, I think they might just edge it. Okie dokie. Another big game at the bottom. Crystal Palace against Burnley. Tight game? 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, Palace have just, I mean, that was a big, big win last night. I saw the goals. Uh, Zahar was back to his best. Yeah. I think that uh, Roy, Roy Hodgson probably, uh, you know, was, was probably dreading uh, Zahar having the best game. Uh, Roy, over here, back to his really, you know, finally, like. Steve, are you there? Yeah. I can't hear him. But we'll have to recall him. Can't see. Okay, let's move on, bud. Hello. Uh, sorry, Steve. Yeah, you just uh, broke up. Yeah, I lost you. Yeah. So uh, you can't see Burnley with. Sorry, you can't see. Uh, but I can't see Burnley winning, but, you know, they could hold Palace. Okie dokie. Last but not least, big game on Sunday. West Ham Wolves. Wolves. Yeah, but it'd be interesting to see how Wolves do tonight. Because, yeah. uh, obviously, if they, got, if they got a decent result at Arsenal tonight, then they're going to be really full of confidence. West Ham have gone off the boil, and, and, and I think that's down to the fact that Michael Antonio is just finding it difficult to, to score at the moment. Um, you know, and, and I think when he's off, although I think Jared Bowen is, is, is scoring goals, but if Antonio is off, is off the boil, then I think they, they, they're finding it hard. And, you know, they, they fall, they're still up there, but the other teams have got games in hand over them. And I think they, you know, they don't look as if they're favourites for that full spot anymore. So I, I think Wolves could definitely get something there. Again, it could, it could easily be another draw. Okay, okay. Steve, under the championship, uh, Fulham away at Cardiff. That won't be easy. No, it won't. Cardiff, who basically had lost something like six or seven in a row at home, have found some form. I think they've won something like six of their last nine games now overall. Yeah. Um, you know, lost uh, lost at Huddersfield last night, but were winning with uh, nice. going into the last into something like the 88th minute. Uh, I think it will be a tough game. It's the sort of game that I think you know we should we should look to go and win. I mean, teams like Peterborough came and they they basically sat 10, 11 men behind the ball for most of the game. You know, away from home, teams feel a bit more obliged to, to come at us and that hopefully will suit us. You know, our away record is, 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 is the best in the division. So uh, I'm confident that we could get something there, but it won't be easy. Blackburn QPR, bad result for Blackburn last night. How do you see that yeah, going? I mean, they, well, Blackburn can't buy a goal at the moment. Mm -hmm. They've scored one goal in their last six games. Uh, they're really struggling. QPR got a very late uh, winner. You know, that was their first win in five. Uh -huh. um, you know, I could see them cancelling each other out, you know, with a low-scoring game. And that would, that, to be fair, that would suit us uh, enormously. But uh, Blackburn, to me, without Ben Brereton, they've now said will be out for about six weeks. Yeah. So that takes him out till early April. Um, and, you know, they, they were in pole position for, for, you know, a top three place. But the teams below them have got games in hand. You know, they could drop out, the, they could almost drop out the top six. So, you know, they can't afford to lose that. I think it'll be tight, but I think, to me, it's got all the makings of a low-scoring draw. Okie dokie. Bournemouth, Stoke City. Yeah, Stoke of having a difficult run at the moment. Yeah. I mean, Bournemouth haven't played for a couple of weeks, but I think that they probably will be too strong for Stoke. You know, it's, uh, you know they... they they're a funny team, Stoke. You, you, you always feel that they're going to be much closer to the playoff places, but you know they're they're a little bit adrift at the moment. You know this is another game they can't afford to lose. Uh, and you think that Michael O'Neill will you know will get them fired up for it, but Bournemouth Bournemouth have sort of won the last three. I think they'd be a little bit too strong for them. Okie dokie. Stoke lost to Luton Town last night. Luton hosts Derby. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think Luton will be too strong. You know, Derby, Derby lost their best player a sent off last weekend. Tom Lawrence yeah. didn't play. They were they were well beaten by Millwall. Uh, Millwall were completely on top in the first half, 2-0 up. Uh, very bad result for them, especially with Reading winning. You know, they find themselves sort of eight points adrift in Derby, having played uh, a game more. So I think uh, you know, Luton, Luton are having a great run. You know, they are on the fringes of a playoff play. You know, the, much against, you know, punching above their weight, really, for the squad they've got. And I think I think that they could just put another nail in, in Derby's coffin on, okay. on the weekend. You mentioned Millwall, tight game, Millwall, Sheffield United. Yeah, I mean, Sheffield United will certainly be favourites. They're having a great run, five wins and a draw in their last six. But Millwall, um, four, four wins uh, themselves in the last six. Yeah. Won their last three. So I think, you know, they're going to they're think this is a game that they could... You know, they could hold Sheffield United. Um, I can't see them beating them, but I think they could hold them. 
Okie dokie. Steve, pressure time again. Successful last week with Derby County. Well What's your best bet this week? Yeah. Just. Leeds. I'm going to go for Luton Town. Oh, I yeah. think uh, against, go for Luton. Luton against, uh, yeah, not Leeds. Luton against, against Derby. I think that, uh, I think, you know, they're, they're strong at home. Mm. And I just think they'll just be a little bit too strong for them. Yeah. Okay. And your value bet, Steve? Leeds. I'm going to go for New. I'm going to go for Newcastle. I just think that uh, you know this is a game they they could target because they could see they could put themselves right on their behind three games in hand. And I think I think Newcastle have just got just got the, the confidence back now. But well, I think they could go and get a result. Yeah, I must say, Steve, totally agree. My best bet was Middlesbrough. I think they'd be too good for uh, for Barnsley, and yeah, I like I Newcastle as well. That yeah, would have been my other one. Yeah, man, man, oh, my best bet. Middlesbrough having a great run. Yeah. I mean, Middlesbrough away, they're not so strong. They've won seven in a row at home, yeah. Middlesbrough. You yeah. know, and they are again. You know, they're in that in that in a playoff place. You know, they if, if they start picking up points away, and they will be favourites. But Barnsley had a really good win during the week. Yeah. And they've, be... now, they've now had a couple of wins uh, recently. A good win at Hull. Who. You know, having changed, you know, having sat Grant McCann when they did three good wins in a row, and now uh, are now struggling again. Yeah. And, it, and Grant McCann yeah. is evidently going to be appointed today as manager of Peterborough, huh. where where he he was sacked four years ago. Who's so there? you know, there's always a bit of a merry-go-round uh, in the championship. Yeah, usual story. Darren Ferguson left last week, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I think he was evidently he was a bit frustrated at the lack of investment. They sold uh, one of their best players in January, Tricky Dembele, didn't replace him. Um, you know, I mean, look, he's had he's had a, a love affair with the club over a number of years. He's been brought back, uh, you know, a couple of times. You know, this is probably the last. You know, I don't can't see him coming back again. Um, you know, and Grant McCann, who was there before, Darren, Darren McCann. McAntony, the chairman, likes to bring people back who, who he's worked with, yeah. even though he sacked them. But uh, I can't. I, I think people will go down. Yeah. Um, but you know, Grant McCann is a good manager, and I think he's the sort of manager that could, that will you know probably get them up next season potentially. But to me, I mean, uh, without their goalkeeper, they they would have conceded five or six last night, and uh, you know, their eight points adrift at Reading. Uh, I can't see them making up that gap now. Yeah. Now, Steve, last but not least, Chelsea Liverpool final on Sunday. Who do you fancy? Yeah, I, I, I can't. I can't see beyond Liverpool somehow. I know they've got one or two injuries, but you know, with Salah and Mane and, and Diaz looking good, I mean, they just look strong. You don't know the, the problem. You, know, you, you can probably pick your Liverpool team pretty much within one or two. You don't know who Tuchel's going to play. You know, it, it's and if he's going to play without, you know, without Lukaku with a sort of false number nine, you just think. You know, is that going to be enough to, to trouble Liverpool's defence with Van Dijk there? Yeah. Oh, I fancy, I think it'll be close, but I, I fancy Liverpool. Right, Okie okay, dokie, Stevie. Thanks very much, pal. And uh, last one standing, Steve. Uh, don't forget your pick. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll, send you, I'll send you a WhatsApp message shortly. Thanks very much, Steve. Thanks, all Steve. the best. All the best. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Rough boats. Let's go Premiership fixtures. Premiership, okay. yeah. We've, we've touched on a few as you go through. Southampton, a good run. Norwich struggling. Yeah, it's a Friday night game, Paul, which is uh, always advantageous. Paul, the way mm. Southampton are playing, yeah, it's really hard to, to see them to get beat. Norwich is struggling. They and, played uh, well against Liverpool. Yeah. For a, for well, they got a, the goal, Paul. But, yeah. uh, you know, Southampton murdered Everton. They played yeah. well against United. Beats well, they drew with Man City. Yeah. Beat Spurs. Paul, 5 to 10, I think, uh, should be in your bets. But I think they'll win easy. OK, Leeds, United, Tottenham. I think Tottenham should beat Leeds the way they're in free Paul, fall. Paul, I just think that, uh, you know, with Spurs, they had the great victory. Now, can you imagine the bus? Everyone said, now you arrive at Burnley. It's monsoon, the wind. Yeah. What am I doing here? I think Spurs will win comfortably, Paul. There'll only be plenty of goals, but... I like yeah. Spurs. A bucket man could be under pressure at least. Oh, Paul, you know, I think you asked a genuine fan, now who are you going to replace him with? Yeah. You know, it's That's always right. easier said than done. His best three players aren't playing. You know, yeah. Calvin Phillips, Banford and the midfield yes. player. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay, so we're going with Tottenham there. Yeah. We're going with Southampton there. Definitely. Brentford, Newcastle. This will be a hell of a game. Big game, Paul. Like, you know, I was impressed with Newcastle at West Ham. He's got them playing well. A lot more confidence in the team. Yeah. Brentford can't buy a win, Paul. I think they've got four points from the last ten league games. Massive game for Brentford. They've got to at least get a point here, Paul. But I don't see them winning. But uh, of the two teams, I like Newcastle. Okay, we're going with that. Player. 
Brighton got a bounce back. Villa struggling. Paul, uh, Lewis Dunk was missing. We mentioned last week against Burnley. Lewis Dunk's the main man at the back yeah. since they've lost Dan Is Burn. he back? He's back. So I don't see them uh, being as conceding can play swing. A bit. They can play, they can a bit, play yeah. Paul. I think Brighton in the draw for me. I can't have Aston Villa. Okay. Me too. I can't have Aston Villa. I watched him last week. Said this side not doing yeah. enough for me. Show Crystal Palace, Palace, wonderful win last night, yeah. Budge. Burnley fighting for their lives. Paul, I don't see Burnley getting beat. You look at a team you don't so want to play at the moment. Drawn Burnley. Drawn Burnley for me there, Paul. 9-10, to 10, that's my play. You know, Palace of Jekyll and Hyde was yeah. a big result. They beat Roy Hodgson, their old manager. Yeah. They were drawing into the, the relegation battle. But this is a team you don't want to play, Paul. Me United look hard to oppose. Paul, uh, to you know, United... Paul, everything's on the line. Good result last night, even though they didn't play well. But what for the woeful, Paul? They yeah. can't, they've got to come and have a go. Yeah. And I can't see United not winning, Paul. Man City will roll Everton. Paul, you know, they had the result against Spurs. You can imagine them sitting in the change room. They got caught. Everton aren't catching Man City, Paul. Yeah. This not is good a 3-4-0 goal. Not good enough. Not good enough. Okay, uh, West Ham Wolves, a tough game. Paul, uh, draw written all over it. Yeah, I don't yeah. see Wolves getting beat. I know they've got Arsenal tonight, but they can play. West Ham have been woeful. You know, Mikel Antonio hasn't scored for a while, Paul. Yeah, He's been playing right. for, I think it's Trinidad or Jamaica in the, the CONCACAF World Cup. So he's had a lot of football, struggling. I don't see West Ham winning there, Paul. The League Cup final, Budge, it's in the last one standing, but only 90 minutes. Only a 90 minutes, Paul. I don't think many people will go in for it. Yeah. Paul, you've got to like Liverpool or the two teams, but if... Chelsea is not a bad side. Paul, World Liverpool Champions. play that high line. If Timo Werner plays, I think he'll catch them. Because Liverpool's back four, they've only got two. The two full-backs bomb on. Yeah. But uh, you know, you've got a fancy Liverpool, 14 or 10, Paul. But uh, a draw player, tight game for me. You know, Budge, I've got the championship results for Tuesday. I think we've touched on most Yeah, we've touched on most of them. You know, the, the, the important the... ones, Reading winning at the bottom. Yeah. You know, things like that. And uh, the rest of them are sort of middle-order games, you yeah. know. Postponed Swansea City, Bournemouth. Yeah. Right, the Wednesday Where's results the... yesterday. Derby lost to Millwall, just touching that. Fulham keep rolling at keep the top rolling, to beat yeah. Peterborough. Huddersfield beat Cardiff. QPR keep winning, beat Blackpool. Sheffield United beat Blackburn. And oh, wow. uh, the away win for Luton Town. Yeah, over big Stoke. game for Luton. Right, well, yeah, this, we kick off Friday. It's on ESPN. I'll be watching it. Blackburn, well, They kick off Friday. No, yeah. I've got a oh, sorry, Saturday, Saturday Blackburn. Yeah, Saturday. Apologies. Saturday lunchtime. Blackburn were no, down to 10 men. They were played Sheffield United. Sheffield United down to 10 men. Blackburn had a penalty. Missed yeah. it. Ooh. And then Sheffield United scored an injury time. So the main man... Blackburn uh, are fifth. QPR third. Yeah, QPR, they scored last minute. They had a player sent off in the first half. Played 50 minutes with 10 men. Good result. Score draw for me, Paul. I think both teams have to go for it. One okay. all, two all will be my... Yeah, Blackwood in the draw for Bournemouth me Bournemouth in second, Stoke 14th. It should be, Paul. They won their last three, Bournemouth. But Stoke are a funny team. Away from home, they seem to do better than at home. I don't see Bournemouth getting beat, Paul. Okay, but Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough away from home. Middlesbrough my best, but I think Middlesbrough will be too good will be too good for uh, uh, too good for Barnsley, yeah? Yeah. And uh, Birmingham, Huddersfield, Paul. Huddersfield had a good result last night. Yes. But Birmingham at home, you know, that'll be, it won't be an easy game. 18 Me, Paul, plays, got, is that 14? Yeah, it's 14, Paul. Huddersfield, are go, no, Huddersfield are a little bit higher. Paul, I think this could be the upset of the weekend, Birmingham against Huddersfield. Okay, I'm just thinking, where Huddersfield on the now, Huddersfield, are go, they're going well. They're in the top six. they fourth. Yeah. So Birmingham, sorry, I thought I saw a line of yeah, 14, no, 18 fourth, players. Paul. How does it feel going to be there? Yeah, Birmingham they haven't lost their last seven away games. Four yeah. wins, three Paul. draws. Well, the unbeaten in 14 has got to end soon. But uh, I've got a funny feeling Birmingham will upset them this weekend. Blackpool, uh, 15, uh, Reading Blackpool fighting always, for their lives. Uh, yeah, Paul Ince has taken over at Reading. They've got a good result in midweek. Blackpool, funny team, Paul, but they don't lose at uh, Bloomfield Road. Blackpool in a draw for me there. Carter Fulham won 19 Paul, plays one. Paul, uh, this won't be easy. You know, Fulham obviously the best team by street in that game, but Cardiff at home, they'll mm. make a game of it, Paul. But uh, it's hard to look past Fulham, but I wouldn't be surprised if it ends in a draw. Coventry City on ninth, Preston, oh, your beloved Paul. Preston, on 13th, but. Well, we keep brassing it at home. We can't win at home, Preston. We should have beat Forest at home on the weekend, 0 0. Paul, it should be Coventry, Paul. They've come back to form, but a draw's a big player, especially with Preston away from home. Derby County lost their last three away from yeah. home. They're 22nd. They're struggling. Luton Town are 8th. It should be Luton. That's Steve's best. But also, Reading have won the last few games, so the gap's widened between points, 30. Yeah. So it's going to be tough for Derby. They're going to have to go for it. 
should be Luton. Paul. Millwall, 12th, Sheffield, 6th. Paul, you know, Sheffield United got out of jail, but they're unbeaten. I think it's nine now, uh, Sheffield United. More well, hard to beat at the den. Yeah. For me, I went draw on Sheffield United, Paul. Notts Forest, 10th. Bristol City, 16th. Paul, this is a game. Forest are on the, the outskirts of the playoff places. So they've got a good result. Well, yeah. I think they'll beat Bristol City in a high-scoring game. Okay, the Posh could have a new manager, the 23rd. They play Paul, Hull, who are 20th. Paul, two bad teams. Paul, this could go either way. There should be goals. Yeah. yeah. Hull City got beat at home against Barnsley. Terrible result. Paul, a draw in Hull City for me there, Paul, but it's Ooh. all three at exotics. West Brom, 11th. Swansea, 17th. Yeah, I like West Brom. With the, you know, the Steve Bruce, they won the lap at Middlesbrough. They conceded too late. I think they get back to winning ways, Paul, 9 to 10. PSL. No, no draw on yeah, the Zulu Paul, there should have been galaxy. goals. The chances they missed. Benny was throwing his toys out the cot. Paul, they could still be playing. Look, got a good creative play, but just no goals. And unfortunately, that's the PSL at the moment. Okay, let's look at their fixtures. Yeah. Marisburg play goal narrows. Derby. Yeah, Paul, I spoke to Quinton, who's a Marisburg manager here. It's the first time Marisburg played at night in a long time. They beat Supersport 2-1. It was a good game. Now, Golden Arrows don't get beat too often. Paul, the two to one, the draw looks a right bet in that particular game. But both teams, I think there'll be goals in that game, Paul. Chipper United, Marumo Galantz. Paul, this has got, if ever there's a draw written all over it, this is it. Yeah, Chipper yeah. United, I think seven home games, they've drawn six and lost one. Yes. Sekakuna United against yeah. Dylan Paul, Curtis Swallows. Paul, I like Sekakuna at, uh, at home, they don't get beat too often. Of all the games Where this weekend, play? that's on uh, Saturday, Paul. They uh, play outside of Joburg. Okay. Simbisa. They've got a lot of Chiefs old players. I think they'll win, Paul. Swallows are struggling. Baraka invite Chiefs into their back Paul, garden. Uh, I, was, I looked at backing Chiefs, but Baraka's their hoodoo team. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, they go up you know, in the Nelspreit area, Paul. It should be Chiefs, but exotics I'd had to draw in. Okay. Supersport, Royal AM. Paul, Supersport on the same team as they were beforehand. They used to pummel every team in, in Pretoria. Royal AM struggling away from home, Paul. I don't see Supersport losing. But uh, win and draw for me there. All right, but let's go into soccer picks. Paul, yeah, uh, Gold Circle Soccer 6. Uh, I've gone Spurs in the draw at Leeds United. I don't see Newcastle losing at Brentford. I've gone the field in the Brighton, Aston Villa, Crystal Palace, Burnley fixtures. I'm bankering Man United to beat Watford and Man City to win at Everton 2 1 6. On to our Pumalela Soccer 6. I'm going Blackburn Rovers, win and draw at home against Queen's Park Rangers. I'm going Tottenham Hotspurs to avoid defeat at Leeds United. I'm going Chipper United, win and draw at home against Barumo Gallants. Siding with the home team, Sekakuna United, win and draw at home against Swallows. I don't see Kaiser Chiefs losing at Baraka FC. And I think Al Akli will be too good for Mamelodi Sundowns in the Cap Champions League on Saturday, 1.92. Right. Onto our Gold Circle Soccer 10. I'm going Tottenham. Jeez, we'll draw take away Leeds. that number two there, Butch. <laughs> That'll be the goal first score. I'm going Newcastle to avoid defeat at Brentford. I don't see Brighton losing at home against Aston Villa. And I fancy Burnley to avoid defeat at Crystal Palace. I've thrown the draw in with Bournemouth at home against Stoke City. On to our second page. I'm going Middlesbrough to beat Barnsley. I've gone Fulham in the draw at Cardiff City. Likewise, Sheffield United win and draw at Millwall and ending up with two bankers. Man United to beat Watford and Man City to beat Everton, 2.56. Okay, doke On to the soccer 13 where I'm going Man City to beat Everton. Man United to beat Watford. I'm chancing Newcastle to win at Brentford. Brighton Hove Albion win and draw at home against Aston Villa and Burnley to avoid defeat at Crystal Palace. I'm chancing Birmingham City to avoid defeat at home against Huddersfield. And unfortunately, I'm signing with Coventry City. Win and draw at home against my Preston North End side. A second page, I'm going Sheffield United. Win and draw at Millwall. Blackpool to avoid defeat at home against Reading. I'm going Bournemouth to beat Stoke. Luton to beat Derby. And Notts Forest to beat Bristol City. And ending up with Hull City to avoid defeat at Peterborough. 2.56. Budgie's bets. On to bits. our Budgie's bets. And I'll keep you happy with the first one. I'm going Tottenham sure. to beat Leeds United and both teams to score. Don't and I'm going penalty. Burnley, Newcastle and Wolves to win or draw. Cool, 3,600 to 200. Bro, My team, yeah, let's hope so. They give us an early so payment. So you put Burnley in there. I like Burnley to we'll avoid to defeat. to win or draw. Yeah. 
That's good. You know, okay. Burnley, I, I like what I see from at the moment. Yeah. My team goals, I'm going Southampton, Tottenham and Newcastle all to score over one and a half goals or a minimum of two goals. And I'm going Man City to score over two and a half goals. I think they'll demolish Everton. Looks a good bet, 2,900 to 200. Very good. Yeah, on to the championship. I'm going Middlesbrough to beat Barnsley. I'm going Notts Forest to beat Bristol City in over two and a half goals. And I fancy goals in the Monday night game between West Brom and Swansea. Excuse me, 2,100 to 200. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah, on to the championship. Uh, both teams to score sides are Blackman QPR, Blackpool Reading, Birmingham City Huddersfield, Bournemouth Stoke, and Notts Forest Bristol, 3,100 to 200. Tough call there. Yeah, I know, it's difficult, Paul. A lot of goals in the championship lately. We had to have a PSL bet, so I'm going Sekakuna United to beat Morocco Swallows. Both teams to score in the Maritzburg Golden Arrows, Barocca Kaiser Chiefs, and Supersport United Royal AM Games. Prices were great, 3,700 to 200. Okay. And our Collis King, six or next, so I'm going Southampton to beat Norwich, Man and City to beat Everton, Middlesbrough to beat Barnsley, Catafe to beat Alaves, AC Milan to beat Udinese, and Inter Milan to beat Genoa. 3,000 to 200. Paul. Brilliant, Budge. I like the first two. <laughs> you got Chan Spurs and both <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Budge. That's, that's good. I always like your bets. And now it comes to time to remind you before we go, last one standing. Yeah. It starts... So, Friday, Friday, Friday Paul. Friday uh, 8 o'clock is closing time for the picks. There'll be quite yeah, a few. One of you guys want to get on the Friday game and uh, 24 women left in it. Fantastic. Till next time, stay on side.